Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Today I've got a beer from Japan for you and it's um, you, most of you will know it when you see the label. Um, it is Asahi. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Asahi. So you, I'm sure you would have all seen that, that label, the silver label, brown bottle. I've got this in a big 620ml bottle. Um, Asahi beer, the beer for all seasons, described here as super dry. Loads of information on the bottle. It says it's Japan's number one beer, right there. I don't know if you can read that. Japan's number one beer, apparently. Um, yeah, Asahi beer is brewed from quality ingredients by using our pure cultured yeast and our advanced brewing techniques. Asahi beer has excellent richness, truly refreshing drinkability and satin smoothness all year round. You can enjoy the great taste of Asahi beer. A uh, bit more information on the back. Asahi Super Dry is brewed to the authentic Japanese recipe to deliver its dry, crisp taste and a quick, clean finish that complements all occasions. This distinctive dry, t dry taste is known as Karakuchi. A taste we're dedicated to mastering by using only the finest ingredients and continuously advancing our brewing technology. So uh, yeah, Karakuchi, dry and crisp, a quick, clean finish. This is coming in at 5.2% ABV. Um, the reason I picked this up um, it was because Asahi have kind of been at the forefront of my mind lately because they've recently purchased one of my favourite breweries. Um, Fuller's, based in London, in Chiswick, not too far away from me. Um, they they also own pubs and hotels. Um, it's become one of their latest business ventures. And Fuller's decided they wanted to pursue uh, the pub and their hotel management a little bit further. And they basically sold the, the, the brewery uh, department of their business to Hasahi. And Asahi bought it for, I think it was £250 million, pounds, so a fair old bit of wonga there. Um, so Asahi have obviously decided it was a good investment. Fuller's are quite successful brewers. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of pretty much everything in Fuller's core range. Um, but when the, when the news broke, it was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that because Fuller's are kind of a national institution. They've been around for donkey's years and... Um, you know, I love going to the Fuller's pubs and drinking the Fuller's beer. You know, I don't go to a Fuller's pub to drink this, to be honest with you. I go there to drink a, a pint of London Pride or something like that, you know. So when you hear that a Japanese brewery have, have bought into the brewing department of Fuller's, it, it rung alarm bells a little bit. Um, but we'll see what happens with it. I'm sure Asahi have decided it's a good investment. And I don't think Fuller's would just sell out on their their brewing quality or anything like that, just like that, surely. I'm I'm hoping not anyway. It'd be a shame if they do. Um but yeah, I I, I realised I haven't actually drunk Asahi beer for a long time. I can't even remember what it tastes like. So I thought I'd get a bottle and review it and I, it just so happened to be on offer in my local Waitrose, this big bottle which is normally um two seventy I think. I picked it up for two pounds so it's a bit of a saving. So yeah, Asahi dry, the original beer, five point two percent A B V there is the bottle cap, quite a nice one as far as bottle caps go. You've got the Asahi logo and then a bit of Japanese written underneath it. No idea what that says. Um, yeah, so let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. Like I say, I've not had this for a long time, so I'm kind of going in blind. Um, see if I can get this off without. You might notice I'm quite careful when I take my bottle tops off because I am collecting them, making a a bottle top table and it's gonna look awesome eventually so yeah beer into a glass then there go. leave that there asahi so there we go there's the asahi beer looks like a lager Standard looking lager, gold colour, like pale gold, not masses of carbonation on that one. It's got a, a one finger fluffy head which is quickly disappearing, but not a massively 
overly carbonated looking beer on that. There's a few bubbles rising up there, as you can see. Um, yeah, just looks like you're running the mill lager, doesn't it, really? Let's get an aroma. Slight bit of citrus. Not particularly sweet smelling, but there is a bit of a bit of lemon, slightly bit of lime. It says the ingredients on the bottle. Ingredients: water, barley, malt, corn, starch, maize, hops, rice. Yeah, so your standard ingredients that you get in a bit of lager. It's quite a smooth aroma, if that makes any sense. And nothing's really jumping out. There is that bit of citrus initially that you get with most lagers. Um, tiniest bit of hoppy aroma to it. But nothing's really jumping out. But let's get a taste. Cheers, guys. Clean, crisp, refreshing, definitely. Um, see what that mean by that dryness? There is kind of a dryness at the back of your, the back of the throat, the back of the palate after you've, you've had a mouthful of this, which kind of makes you want to go back to it. Um, Other than that, not a lot really to go on. Um, yeah, slight bit of citrus, very slight, slight dry hoppiness, back of the palate. It is refreshing, it is crisp, it is certainly drinkable, um, but there's a lot better out there in terms of lagers, and that's what it is it's a lager. You know, they haven't got the word lager. Is there a word lager on it? No, it's just say beer. Recipe, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure the word lager is on here anywhere. I mean, they just described it as a beer. I mean, it's a lager. Um, and it's not a particularly good one. If I'm honest, um, yeah. Ah. Like I say it's light. It's a very, it's very crisp. It's very fresh. Taste into it. It's a clean taste to it. Quite watery. And there is that slight dryness at the back of the palate. Not. Yeah, it's different in that sense. It's not hoppy, it's not bitter. It's a dry finish as opposed to a bitter hoppy finish. It's There's no flavour with that. Um, like most, most beers, you get like a hoppy bitterness at the back end, but there's a bit of flavour to it. There's no really extra flavour at the end of this. Once you get past that kind of that crisp citrus, um, you know, smash when you first drink it crisp the carbonated crisp fresh tasting bit of it at the beginning once you get past that there's nothing really to report on apart from this odd dryness at the back that kind of makes you want to go back for another one um yeah i don't know I've, I've drunk probably 100 lagers better than this. That's annoying. <laughs> it is a bit annoying with a company like this who make a beer like this, which is bang average at best, have been allowed to come in and buy 
a good brewery who make good beer. You know, it, it just this this drinking this again for the first time in ages has just made me worry about Fuller's even more a little bit, if if I'm honest, um, because this is pretty poor, in my opinion. Um, it's drinkable. It's not unpleasant, but it's boring. It's it's boring. It is bland. It's um like I say, if, if you're if you're thirsty and you want to drink, have a cold glass of water. It's cheaper. <laughs> and it does exactly the same as this does. It this is apparently has five point two percent alcohol. Not getting any of the alcohol on that, you're getting no boozy flavour to it, there's no complexity to it. There's a slight bit of citrus crispness with the beginning of it. It's really watery, and then there's this weird kind of dryness at the back end, which could be um, confused for hops, but it's not. It's just a weird dryness, obviously, the way it's brewed. Um, I'm not a big fan, if I'm honest. I'm not impressed with that. Um, I think that the longer I've drunk it, the more I'm sitting here scratching my beard and trying to find something good about it, but there's not much to report back with this. This is a mass-produced... You know, hugely available lager. Um, and it's kind of sold and advertised as like a premium lager, Japan's finest and all that crap. Um, yeah, it's, it's bang average. I mean, you could find any old lager better than that, to be honest with you. And it'd be a bit cheaper as well. Um, yeah, Asahi's. Asahi's super dry. Uh, Japanese number one beer. I'm going to give it a score. Um, I'm going to give that a a four out of ten. I'm not impressed at all with it. And um, I'm now even more worried about what's going to happen with Fuller's. If these guys are in charge of it. If this is a good beer in their eyes. And God knows what's going to happen with Fuller's. So there you go. Four out of ten for Asahi. Um, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, thank you to those who subscribed recently. I really do appreciate it. Um, as ever, let, let, get in touch with me. Let me know what you're drinking. Um, is there anything you recommend? You know, is there anything you want me to perhaps review? I'm happy to do it. You know, I do love it when people comment and uh, and let me know what they're drinking. It's always good to know. So um, yeah, give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much, guys.